So I want to share a practice for this Pisces lunar eclipse, this full moon in Pisces coming up here. Uh, this is potent as you're as we're moving into the full moon, the lunar eclipse, and during and after, or anywhere in your life, really. A uh, really potent, beautiful practice to connect with the moon energy and to release, to bring in healing energy as well. Uh, eclipse season is really a time of change, of accelerated change. And it's sort of the cosmic forces coming in to speed things up. And so sometimes as we're moving through rapid change, there is a, a resistance to it. And so this is really supporting you in releasing and allowing uh, surrender to uh, the greater currents of your life, the greater currents of destiny that are moving through you and through your life and through the lives of those around you. So we're going to work with the full moon, the energy of the moon, that lunar kind of silvery healing, um, feminine in nature, kind of a yin energy, um, bringing that through the body. So this is a really simple practice. You can, I, I highly recommend doing this at night under the moon. Um, so just sort of going outside and standing under the moonlight or you can certainly do it during the day or any time too and just imagining the moon um, but you're, you're just closing your eyes and imagining the moon like the full beautiful silvery moon smiling down on you and you can bring a little smile to your own face so feeling that moon sort of smiling, smiling into uh, your skull, right? So imagining that moonlight shining down from above into your skull and imagining it smiling into your third eye. And you can do this with me right now if you like. Uh, smiling into your third eye. This is that seat of intuition, a seat of knowing, vision, foresight. And so seeing that moonlight, that beautiful silvery, like goddess-like moonlight shining into your third eye and smiling into you and feel yourself smiling into your third eye. Taking a few gentle breaths there, allowing that moonlight to soak your brain, your skull, your third eye, your pituitary gland, pineal glands. And then feeling that moonlight now dripping down through your body into your chest and smiling into your heart. And you smiling with your own face into your own heart. So obviously the center of love and connection and emotion. And so feeling that beautiful liquid silvery moonlight smiling into your heart. Bringing a sense of ease and balance in your connections, love for yourself, for others, for those around you. And breathing that silvery moonlight and letting it soak your heart. Soak your chest, your rib cage, your lungs. And then feeling that moonlight drip down through the belly, all the organs of digestion, elimination, and finally coming into the womb or into the pelvis, whatever you have there, the lower center, smiling into the womb, smiling into the pelvis, your seat of creation, your seat of desire and of sweetness. So feeling that moonlight shining down again through the crown, through the heart, down dripping into the womb, silvery moonlight filling the womb, filling the pelvis, all the sexual organs, smiling into the womb, the seat of creation, of power, infinite, exquisite power. And feeling yourself surrendering to this moonlight that wants to bless you. And breathing gently. Hmm. And then just feeling that moonlight smiling down, dripping down, silvery light all through your whole body and meeting with the earth. And you can rest in this place, just sort of feeling that waterfall of energy as long as you like. <laughs>
I'd love to hear how this goes for you, how it feels, and just in general, how eclipse season is going for you. And if you're interested, I'm offering a special on 101 sessions for the eclipse season, my biannual sale. You can find more about that on my website, NicoleNardoni.com. Thank you so much.